Here we go again. Kuba's going to give me a secret trip today. He's going to surprise me with something. I guess he's going to surprise me with a very beautiful flowers with the... Will you be my date? <laughs> Of course, this area, Scuba loves something like places with water. Are we going to go to the forest and leave me there? No, it would be <laughs> nice. I would have at least a couple of days peace. Peace? But the thing, guys, those who are watching our videos, they know we are spending a lot of time here in this place next to the lake, which is my favorite place. It's not like I don't want to take Gwen to her favorite places here, but the problem is Gwen doesn't have favorite places here because she hates Czech Republic. I don't hate Czechia, I just, I'm a home girl. I don't have this kind of uh, favorite place where other people like going to cafe, going to, I don't know, I don't know the stuff, like coffee shop or, uh, I don't know, restaurant. I'm not that kind of a person. <laughs> I'm just boring girl. <laughs> And the thing why we cannot stay at home to make static videos is because we are recording on the GoPros and the GoPros, what we found out, don't like making videos inside because it's overheating. So that's why we have to go outside. Yeah, she's kind of ma'arte. Yeah, I like you. OA. Yeah. Why we are here is to discuss the topic, how we've met. And other questions to answer. One of the first videos in this channel is also discussed about this topic but it was only me talking about it and this time when we are already together living together you will hear it not only from the one side. I guess you will know the difference if Jacob was lying or not. <laughs> <laughs> For those who haven't seen the first video, just scroll down to the bottom of our channel, you will find the video there. But this time, let's dive into the questions of today's topic. How we've met? How did we met? Yeah. I'm not gonna discuss it while I'm walking, baby. I want to sit down. No, we are not. <laughs> so, how did we meet with Gwen? It was kinda the biggest coincidence which happened in our lives. We both that time went to Omegle and we've met there. Luckily for us, Gwen told me all her personal information, which is really not that thing you should do on social media. Told me her name, the full name, the exact company she is working <laughs> and the position as well. That time when we were chatting I did not know if it's true or not. Like of course I did not tell her what's even my name, I did not even mention what's my work. During that time Gwen was even showing her face during the video call on Amigo. I'm not sure if I got my camera like turned off or if I was showing something else. No, because I could not really rem remember you there and I also did not know that sharing your personal information in this kind of website is bad. Well, so I was just very innocent at the time. Luckily you, I was innocent at the time. You were working for TikTok and you did not know sharing so like personal information on social media is wrong. They did not teach you during training. They taught us, but I just did not know like, I don't know. You were so amazed of me that you forgot all the things. I guess you were just making moves to me right but it was me who started searching for gwen on facebook and i found her we started chatting then we fell in love we were in the ldr then i traveled to the philippines then gwen traveled here and that's how we ended but the thing i have to ask have you ever tried to find me after we lost connection on amigo no have you even think about it to find me Honestly, no, because... So you don't love me? It's not, I don't love you, but if you were just a stranger that I met on Omegle and I couldn't even see your face and I did not even know if it was real. It was, For me, it was just a chat and that's all. So when you chatted me on Facebook and you were John that I met on Omegle, I was like, who's John? Like, I don't really remember your name and your name was different from your Facebook's name. So I was like, oh, what a scammer. He said he's John on Omegle, but his name on Facebook is Jacob. So I will not believe him. So I did not reply him. Three days. After three days, I decided to reply Jacob. Oh. <laughs> she was ghosting me for three days. 
but that's it that's how we met the another question is is it better to find filipina girl online or in person during visiting the philippines or somewhere um in my opinion it's really up to you on how you would be able to get to know that person there are also like disadvantages and advantages of meeting a person or a Filipina woman through online. But there are also Filipina women on a dating site who are genuine. But there are also Filipina women who you could meet in person who are not genuine. So I would say it's really up to you on how you would be able to figure out if they are the right woman for you or not. But if I say what's the best for the both, I would say in person is better because you were able to meet the person personally and it would be amazing as well if this person is a friend of your friend or someone already knew this person because it's so hard to find good women nowadays and someone you know know this person you could really have a first impression of or a first knowledge about their background so that's my point of view since we've met online the online dating became quite popular during covid times but if i will think about it specifically about filipina girls being on the dating sites they are there specifically for that one reason to find a foreign man who will secure them because poverty in the philippines is huge and of course everyone wants to escape poverty this may be quite harsh to say but that's how i see it once i could read the comment on facebook when there was one man recommending a way how to meet a filipina girl which i quite agreed on with him the best way is to visit the philippines go to the streets and ask for the day those girls who are working in the store pharmacy doctors nurses those kind of women and you can be sure those women are kind of educated are willing to find the proper work they are not lazy and in my point of view as well there are also a lot of genuine women on dating sites or genuine filipina women on dating sites the purpose is to find a foreigner but there are a lot of women on those dating sites are also scared because we have this kind of mindset that most of those men on those dating sites are not serious on finding a date and most of them are just gonna find someone for online sex and most of them there are like perverts and most genuine women are very scared of using those stuff honestly in my person point of view so during that time you've met on omigo you were hunting foreigners no yeah no yeah no i was not baby foreigner hunter here oh no you maybe you're a filipino hunter i'm not yeah <laughs> another thing on our list is what's the difference between province girl and city girl of the philippines say it filipino we are having the source uh this question is very broad for me because there are a lot of factors and there are a lot of differences as well but if we talk about life dating experiences like conservativeness and stuff there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages for both like there are a lot of top and downs so for example if i say dating there are a lot of uh, difference with that because most of the city women are civilized not in a bad way why are you laughing <laughs> so you are not civilized they are civilized in a way that they know anything like i mean all the trends and stuff about the things going on in the society because they have this kind of advance in technology advance on the things in the environment and like those girls who are just in the province they are only hearing news from the local but not even like they don't i would say they are very innocent compared to city women and a lot of them just don't know anything about what's going on in the city and i would just say i don't know they are just so innocent for me and if we talk about dating those province women are still very traditional and you really have to follow the right courting ways in the philippines the tra traditional courting ways and if you're gonna marry this province girl you have to follow still the parents traditional way that you have to follow the pam pamanhikan way for example you have to ask their parents first before before you're going to decide for a marriage to her or wedding you have to ask the parents hands first 
and I would say there will be a lot of challenges as well between the parents because the province parents are very traditional compared to the city parents who are very open-minded already so that's the difference and also if we talk about life hard working stuff or hard work there can be a lot of factors for both but if we talk about work by hands i think province girls are more into that than city women and province girls are are not scared on working by hands are not scared of working dirty stuff but there are also advantages of city women because they are very good at managerial stuff admin tasks or computer stuff because and you know technology if we talk about technology they are more advanced than province women because in the province for example we are still using those kind of traditional stuff in cooking dirty kitchen but those stuff are not in the are not really in the city where in they have to use stoves and stuff because of the uh, way of living in the city is quite different from, from the province I don't know if you get it is it the, the difference is that those province women are more innocent compared to the city women don't believe Gwen the first time I arrived to the Philippines Gwen picked me up in the airport and we were heading back to the hotel where we were supposed to stay mm -hmm. and the, the innocent province Filipina girl who was riding next to me tried Ryan. to rape me when stop it it's not when we were still stop. in the taxi no it's so not that's real. how that's it was you were very touchy to me me innocent one who will no, wait you're not. You're very touchy for the to first me. silly after Stop the wedding it, baby before our wedding and i wanted it after the wedding but you were yeah, so bad at me that you wanted to break up with me it was ldr yeah it was still, online still for me it was genuine for me i wanted to follow still but we were already two years and more after we met so i think that's normal already for me but i told you i'm 50 50 i am province and city no I, I can see it in gwen <laughs> province women are very traditional but if we talk about if you'd like to really marry someone who's very traditional expect that you will have a lot of struggles because parents are very traditional as well and you really have to follow that that that's the disadvantage and unlike those city girls they are very open-minded and i think it's easier to date them than the province girl but i would say the city girls as well most of them are not really into dating foreign guys because i guess they could really see a lot of foreign guys as well everywhere in the city but in the province it's rare for us to see a foreign guy <laughs> so that's why i guess those province girls are very attracted to foreign guys i would say i have one tip which is kind of a difference between province and city girls which is the province girls are much more in better shape and better looks good looking woman yes i was looking at the woman in your province yeah he was and he was searching it on facebook too and <laughs> it's because of that the difference between province and city girls all around the world most of the time province girls or village girls are living in the family house and because of that there is so much work around the house and whole family needs to help even if it's boys woman mother father brother sister all of us are work, working around the house getting dirty not caring much about how they look but that's a kind of healthy lifestyle yeah i agree on the other hand those people living in the city they will come from school or work and they are just staying at home or doing some activities but still we cannot compare the life on the village and life in the city yeah and one of the examples of that is that when we talk about kitchen, in my experience, I really need to work on that. Every Sunday, I'm going to the forest and getting some woods for us to have some fire. But if it's in the city, people have an easy life wherein they can just... Baby, why are you laughing? Gwen was supposed to be picking woods because she cannot cook, so she... Yeah, that's what my job, picking woods every Sunday and my sister was just cooking. So those people living in the city, they have, you mostly have stoves than dirty kitchen. Dirty kitchens are mostly in the province and I hate it so much. <laughs> that's a very nice thing. It's a kind of thing which I'm 100% sure the food cooked on the fire tastes better. 
then on the electric stove and the things like that. And another thing of dating province women, I would say they are conservative. Conservative in a way that you have to follow the traditional way of courting them. We have this kind of courtship in the Philippines. I'm not sure if you heard this word, but courtship means if you want this girl to be your girlfriend, you have to wait for the girls yes so in my experience before there were guys courting me and they had to wait for three years six months eight months but still they received no from me <laughs> because i have to be a traditional woman and that was my mom told me but kuba was so lucky it was just one click and and he like yes oh my gosh it was not my case <laughs> i did not even try to ask gwen for yes or no Gwen asked me, or she did not even ask me for my yes, and she went for it in the taxi that night. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> when you want to marry this Filipina girl, you have to pay a dowry to her parents, especially some Muslim communities are still following that. For me, it was just bringing 10 whole roasted chickens <laughs> yeah. for dinner. That was also the reason why my father was hated by my grandparents because when she, when he married my mom, he did not give any dowry. He just married my mom immediately without asking permission. So for so many years up until my father passed away, my grandparents hated him so much. I did the same and no one hates me. <laughs> Probably because I'm foreigner. Discrimination of foreigners and Filipino boys. It's not. I would say it's because I am very... I am this black sheep in my family. I am the only one in my family who did not follow this Pamanhikan tradition. Pamanhikan means you have to ask the parents' girl's hands first before marrying her. All of my three brothers and my sister, they follow that. Me? Mm -mm. No, I don't like it. I'm the black sheep. To make the things fair before people will start asking in the comments, of course I would ask Gwen's parents for permission if I, if I can marry her, but unfortunately Gwen's parents passed away before I got the chance to ask them. But still I ask. After parents are passed away, the eldest sibling is becoming the head of the family and the eldest brother of Gwen. I asked him for permission, <laughs> but so I did not receive any <laughs> yes or no. And once you are quiet, it means yes. So I took it as yes. It was so funny. Kuba was so scared and sweating so much, like flooding of sweats in his body. And the friends of my brother were asking like, is he okay? He's so red. It's like going to pass out. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But because my brother was just not smiling at all and it looks very scary. And Kuba was so scared. <laughs> And I was washing plates because my brother prepared dinner for, for us when we visited him. So he prepared a lot of foods. And I was trying to wash the plates outside and Kuba kept chasing me like a tail. And my brother was like, why is he keep, keep chasing you like a tail? Like I told him to sit here, but he's been wherever you are, he's going there. No, because he's scared of you. <laughs> but to summarize the things we mentioned in this video, the first thing we've met on Omega, we've met online during COVID time one of the things which became popular during coronavirus. Another thing was the best way to find Filipina girl. We mentioned two things online or in person. Both of the things has pros and cons. It's up to you what you are more comfortable with. But still, in my opinion, in my gener general opinion, which I will maybe sound pocritic, but better is meeting a girl in person, talk to in person. Get to know is the most fell. important fall in love in person. No, it's not like that. I would like them to get to know them first, even deeper than just talking to them. Meet them, meet their family, get to know their family as well. Her background is the most important thing, I would say. The third thing, the differences between province women and city women, that's what we mentioned. The city women are more like into, the, I would say, emotional things. They are not really into practical things because living in the city is not that much hard like living in the province or in the village where people really have to work hard for their living even after coming home from school or from work. Sun is going down, the wind is becoming stronger, waves are becoming higher. Getting Mother colder. Nature 
wants to tell us it's time to go, to go home. home. In, Gwen's, in Gwen's way, it would be God is telling us it's perfect time to go home. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. More detailed video of how we met you can still find in our channel. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. You will put a huge support to us. We are slowly approaching the line of 1000 subscribers, which is kind of crazy. Take care always and see you in the next video.